Lubbock, Texas has counted Buddy Holly and Waylon Jennings among its local boys who made good. Now the hero they're celebrating is Joe Ely. The Musta Nada Gotta Lotta has been hailed as the best country album of 1981 by Time magazine. When he recently appeared at Toronto's El Macombo, I asked Ely if he was surprised to have been asked by The Clash to open their recent UK tour. I was a little, little surprised, yeah. Uh, when Joe Strummer came up, uh, one of our gigs we were doing in London, uh, and asked if we'd uh, do the Texas dates, they were fixing to come over states and do the Texas dates and a couple of the California dates. I was a little surprised because I didn't uh, didn't really see the connection, but you know, later on I, I found out that they listened to a lot of the same people as I did. So. What do you think of their music? Uh, I think I think Strummer and Mick are, uh, you know, they're really vital writers for right now, you know? Really. How did the English crowds appreciate your stuff? Because I know for a while there it, it really freaked you out to see people behaving in that rough kind well, of way, spitting at things. Not, not really, you know, because uh, a lot of the a lot of the things that we've done, uh, like in some of the Texas roadhouses on a Saturday night, there was equal amount of danger in the air, so uh, we were used to all that. Do you remember the first time you picked up a guitar? Uh, no, yeah, I guess I did. I, uh, uh, probably about, when I was in about the fifth grade, uh, I remember there was a guy down the street that played guitar and uh, I, I'd kind of sawed around on a violin for a couple of years when I was really young. Uh, but, uh, you know, he'd show me chords and show me songs and stuff. And well, when did you decide to start playing guitar for a living? Probably a few days after that. Kind of, kind of stayed with it. Uh, took a, oh, a few steel guitar lessons and stuff. I didn't like that. Uh, stayed with guitar. Incidentally, years later, I found out that uh, uh, myself and Buddy Holly had taken steel guitar lessons from the same uh, place in Lubbock, Texas, that uh, a guy went around door to door selling steel guitar lessons. People have said that um, the beauty of, of what you do is that it's so authentic. I don't really look at it that way. It might be because we come from the wilds of West Texas that uh, people would see it as authentic or whatever, you know. tape from a local Toronto high school. Here it is.